Hi, how are you? Today we are making paper mache bowls. Um, so we have some, we, there's lots of different recipes for it and some involve like glue and some involve boiling water and so we're just going to do the one that doesn't involve that. <laughs> So we have our one cup of flour in here because it was messy, so we just put it in there. Mm -hmm. And then it also called for, actually we'll just pull it up. I don't have my glasses on, so I'm sorry. Okay, so it's a cup of flour, a cup of water, and a two, two tablespoons, <laughs> tablespoons of salt. <laughs> so we're going to use that. I think it doesn't make any sense. Luckily, my kitchen is right here. Yay. <laughs> you want to go back to the Zoom? Yeah. So we're mixing it up. Oh my gosh, it's stuck in my mixer. <laughs> it's probably not a good idea. This is why you're watching us do it so that you can do it better later. Yeah, you know what not to do. <laughs> <laughs> Although my original plan was for people to do it alongside with us, but <laughs> you might want to think that through first. <laughs> okay. This is, I don't know if you bake much. This is basically noodles. <laughs> oh, I think. We'll do that next <laughs> with the leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now we have a paste. Yay! I have some paper towels to clean ourselves off with. <laughs> and your birthday. I have the towel there for. Not that we need it. Okay. So we have our bowls. And we are going to think from what I remember. If we prepare the pieces of paper. Right? Yeah. Okay, here's some paper. And you rip it into strips. And you can, um, so I, while I was looking, I found out that paper mache is um, some other language for, it actually means chewed paper. <laughs> oh, gross. Don't eat the paper. Yes, we are not chewing the paper. <laughs> so, um, the strip we need. I don't. Actually, no. <laughs> Just a lot. We are experts at this. <laughs> and I think it also depends on how, like, thick your kind of paper, because you don't want the silky kind, you know? Does that make sense? You want something that will, will you soak want the paper up. Paper. Yeah will soak up the, the paste. I also found some paper mache clay that you can actually look like, it's like clay. Oh. So you don't have to. I think you can use tissue paper too. Yeah. And you might want to ask your parents before you start this project because it can be a little messy. You work smarter than me. You work smarter, <laughs> smarter, not harder. That's what my boss tells me all the time. Yeah. Because I can do things the wrong way. Just the harder way. Not wrong, just different. So many, so many pieces of paper. 
And actually, with these this small bowl, we could probably rip them into like shorter strips. Yeah. So there. I have an excellent pile of paper going though. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you're gonna take your bowl and you're gonna flip it over. Okay. You can also do this with balloons, but I wasn't sure where the balloons were. <laughs> and I couldn't find any at Hobby Lobby the other day. Mostly just because I forgot to look for them. I was in the aisle, but I forgot. So um, you're going to like stick it in there and... Uh, oh, it's gross. It is gross. And if you have textural problems or problems with textural things, you might want to wear gloves. This is nasty. And so you let it soak it up and kind of rub off the excess. It can be, it's gonna be slimy and wet, um, but you can rub, slide off the excess. And then you lay it on your bowl in the fashion that you want, like so. And then you're gonna do the same with a million other pieces. Oops. I can't even think of anything that feels like this. <laughs> like, mm, this is like noodles, but it needs way more flour. <laughs> okay. And then you just put them on top and you just keep doing it. <laughs> and you never get used to this <laughs> each time you put your fingers in it's like oh <laughs> nasty what is this <laughs> it's also hard to like get it off your fingers so that know, you can so wipe off like, the, <laughs> like everything is on there like so essentially it's going to dry in whatever form you Put it in because it takes a few hours to dry. Um, so if you if you have extra um, length of newspaper and it's hanging off to the side, it's going to dry like that. Um, and because it's paper, I think you can cut it right after it's drying. Yeah, once you peel it off your bowl, you could like cut your bowl shorter or something, or make all the edges even. What's the fun in that? <laughs> <laughs> Even an edge other, bowl. Like, balloons, bowls, what else could you put it on? You could use a cup, like use yes. a paper cup. Or a... Yes. I was trying to, like, I did a horse when I was in, Oh. I mean, it was a, a horse space. We were doing masks, animal masks. I've done, um, I had a balloon that was shaped like a bird. And so we did, I did a bird once. That's we made cool. it into a pinata. Nice. And I was like his butt off and then, <laughs> Chef, can't you? <laughs> like a turkey. Yeah. <laughs> um, thankfully, it sticks together, so you can do the sides of the bowl like this. Yes. You can just wrap it around the sides. Okay, there's lots of pieces of paper in here. So I need to... <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> my thought for this. <clears throat> I've just got morning issues. I have to like clear my throat a million times in the morning. But my one of my thoughts when I was coming up with this plan, some genius plan, yeah. <laughs> was making like a, a decoration for my porch or something, like a spring flower. But I, for those things, you can definitely do that. But you need something that can take the, sh like that you can put all this stuff on. And so, Essentially, you need what's called an arm arm arm. arm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> arm, arm, arm I don't know. Armoire. Um, it's an it's a wire figure um, that you <laughs> that you um um you just it's a figure through fire um that you um you can put all of these papers on. 
So that would be, if you're good with wire, or if somebody in your family is good with wire, and you have like wire covers and stuff. I mean, maybe if we're in isolation long enough, we'll all become experts at all kinds of crafty things. We'll be making our own wire shapes. <laughs> we'll be making our own wire. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was surprised Hobby Lobby was open. Yeah, they see. just closed down all of the department stores. And I was like, wait, <laughs> I need some craft stuff. <laughs> I went there. And I was so grateful. Oh, <laughs> will my fingers ever be the same? No, that's the question. I'm surprised the newspaper ink isn't like running. That's true. Have you ever heard of that hack where you wash your windows with Windex and then you dry them with newspaper? No, what does that do? It like reduces the likelihood of like smears and smudges and, and streaks. Oh. Okay. I've never tried it, but it's, I'm like, why would I want to do that when it's the ink go all over? Yeah. It doesn't. I always use a paper towel. I feel like that is just as effective. I <laughs> know. <clears throat> oh, I have one in there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're losing pieces. <laughs> and if you bury them in this goop, then you end up like losing pieces and you might find some more paper in there. Okay. We're almost completely covered, I think. I kind of want to. Wow, you're going way faster than me. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to have like the the funky edges so I'm I was wrapping it around the bowl so that it would be even um but now I'm going to lay them lay them on the bowl so that there's like spikes <laughs> just to see what happens <laughs> I could use it as like a jewelry holder yeah it's like clearly I wear a lot of jewelry because mm. I don't on your have any you change in it <laughs> there we go. like a like an old man. <laughs> this is a really thick. <laughs> so I think the recipe said that the like, from what I remember, there was just, like, when I did this when I was younger, it was just, it was just flour and water. And so I wonder if the salt, like it said in this, for the salt, that it was for, to keep it from molding. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, it's probably pretty important, but... <sighs> Mm, you inspired probably. me. I want a spiky bowl now, too. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes I do crazy things just to see what happens. And it's the reason I'm doing this. And what else are we going to do? Um, so <laughs> I thought of a lot of things, and I'm not sure about any of them. <laughs> One of them was definitely a homemade Febreze because oh. as everybody is in their home and I'm sorry people stink sometimes mm -hmm. and um like I was just like here's some homemade Febreze we can make <laughs> I use it <laughs> the flavor be or the scent um I use essential oils but oh, okay. not a, I would have to figure out how else you could do that I'm sure there's like well you could do like if you have some lemon hmm, yeah. in your house, like a lemon or lemon juice, or I'm trying to think of what else. An orange. An orange. Or you could do, I don't know. For the holidays, you could do cinnamon. Yes. I actually really like cinnamon. Some Pack it. I can't lift you up right now. <laughs> <laughs> um. You know, you could put some spices in there, I think. But I made my own with an essential oil and it works amazing. Huh? 
Okay, so you can make this as thick as you want. Um, I think one or two-ish layers are fine. I didn't read the directions. <laughs> <laughs> like we said, we're experts. <laughs> we totally know what we're doing. Um, all right, so once you are done with that, then you can, um, if you have one or two layers on there, then you can let it dry. Um, with a fan would be helpful or outside, but it's rainy outside today, so we're not going to do that. Blow dryer, blow dryer. I got some flour on the mouse. It's okay. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to stop this recording anyway. <laughs> <laughs> You're with us forever. <laughs> okay. Also, if it dries on your hands, it kind of like, we may have some, I do remember things drying on my hands <laughs> and it being like interesting slash disgusting because it was like, your skin was flaking on. <laughs> she had that to look forward to. Yes. Okay, so I, I'm going to try and show them what this looks like. Okay, so your end result should be somewhat like this. And you want to try and like make sure there's no edges falling off. Like falling off meaning like little bumps right there. There's like bumps where the paper isn't sticking to each other. Um, and so you're just gonna smooth those, like so. Mine has little frilly things and we'll see what happens. I'm gonna actually, there we go. Okay. Oh, mine has a hole in it. <laughs> it's over this side. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Check that, all surfaces are covered, please. <laughs> Thank you for your attention. Yeah, and um, actually, once it dries, you can add more layers, too. Um, with the horse, now that I'm doing this, all this is coming back. <laughs> this is like flashbacks in a good way. Um, so with the, with the horse face I made, so once your basic, your basic um, shape has formed and dried, then you can... Um, add more later like um to make it have the the um like the wrinkles and the like the contours of his face exactly that horse had nostrils and everything wow it was good i should i could actually pull it out you have it still? i think i have it <laughs> my mom was getting rid of stuff and i'm like it was one of those like Sure, I'll take all my old artwork. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's actually helpful. Oh, pocket. Do you like my foot? <laughs> okay. So we're going to end this recording somehow. <laughs> and we will see you in a little bit once, once it's dry. It's dry. <laughs> Hey guys, so a little update on the paper mache. So when Stacy and I did our paper mache bowls, um, they were gonna turn out great, but they didn't come off the bowls. So note to self, do it on something that you don't care to be thrown away. Um, but those did get thrown away. So I wanted to, I did this project again and I made it on a balloon, so ooh. It's like leaking powder. So, um, so you can see that it worked this time. Um, but I wanted to show you guys just what you can do. Um, so I did it on a balloon and then you let it dry and then you pop the balloon and you pull the balloon out. So I'm going to cover the top and it'll be like a little egg. It'll be a little cute. Um, also, something to notice, is some of it is like it's just one layer so you might want to do two layers so it doesn't like, like so it's more firm um otherwise it's super cool um 
but other people I've seen other people do this. It's super great. Um, other people have done um, like animals and stuff and non balloon shapes. I don't know how they did it, but, um, but when I was, when I was little, when I was, I mean, I was 17, I think I made this. It's a horse in case you didn't know. Um, so it was a mask, I guess because it's got um, my face shape there. I think we did our faces first and then we did it like that. Anyway, so you can, I would challenge you to make your own shape, your own, whether it's a mask or what. Um, if you're gonna put it on your face, maybe put something between your face and the, the whatever you wanna call it. So, um, yeah, the paper mache. Um, I would love to see what you guys can come up with. Um, a lot of people use wires to make the form that they want. So, um, yeah, um, just wanted to give you an update on how that went. So don't use bowls or don't use anything that you don't want to destroy trying to get it off and um, have fun with that. So I hope you have fun with this and I will see you for our next video. Bye-bye.